Hello and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley and today we're going to discuss an interesting case that came in. A gentleman came in today um, in a follow-up actually. We saw him a little bit um, maybe a couple of weeks ago but in a follow-up after a laser procedure. So this gentleman has had a pretty long history of a variety of eye problems. He had cataract surgery done many years ago at some point had a YAG capsulotomy where the laser was done to the back of this capsule after the implant's in place and so there was an opening in the front where the cataract was removed and then there's an opening lasered in the back of his capsule that held holds the lens in place inside the eye. He also had a significant amount of glaucoma and his cornea became cloudy and had to have a DSAIC which is a type of corneal transplant where just the inside lining of the cornea uh, is replaced. Uh, and then after he's had that, a few months ago he had a shunt put in where a tube was inserted inside the eye to drain the fluid out of the eye because his pressure was not controlled. Evidently when the tube was placed in, the um, from the manipulation of the surgery he had evidently some of the cortex, which is the fluffy outer part of the lens material, was still left inside the eye during the cataract surgery, and this suddenly popped, got loose, popped out, and went through the opening, the capsulotomy opening in the back, uh, behind the implant, and he suddenly was complaining a couple of weeks ago that he had a big glob right in his vision. So he had a big piece of the cortex of his lens sitting right in the middle of his pupil, still partially attached to the capsule that surrounds the lens. And so um, last week we uh, took him in and I lasered and broke this up with a YAG laser and now he was coming in for his follow-up visit. So now we've cleared out this big piece of stuff that's behind, sitting right behind his implant that was blocking his vision and that stuff has now been removed. So it's a pretty interesting case where that many, many years after cataract surgery, a piece of the cortex broke loose, went behind his implant right in the middle of the pupil and blocked his vision. Um, so he had what was essentially a very large floater. So in this case the floater was different than the routine floater where the jelly that fills up the back of the eye pulls loose from the retina. You see that attachment floating around in a vision. This was a big glob of cortex sitting right behind the pupil. So um, it's fortunately he's doing well and his vision's gotten better but it was just something that you don't really see that often that comes into the office. If you have any questions about floaters, or in this kind of case unusual, something where something's blocking your vision, you can always contact us through the website. If not, may God bless you with healthy eyes and great vision.